Lead Deke into town. I'm sure it's been nice for the boys to have a whore to play with. I hear those rancher girls like it in the rear. Maybe she won't want to go home. Sooner you she get him over here, so sooner we good. all go home. What are you waiting for? Untie me, fillers. Where's Bonnie? I thought we had a deal. Well, you thought wrong. We don't make deals with the... Are you okay? I'm fine now, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> what the hell took you so long, you stupid man? Well, you weren't exactly helping me. If you think I'm gonna lower myself by making a joke about being all tied up, you got another thing coming. Come on. This is mighty generous of you, mister.
Not a problem. You take care of yourself. And I can tell you, with no uncertainty, that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you <laughs> good day, sir. <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr. Uh, Mr. West Dickens. Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap, London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At your service. At my service. Yet everyone's service, at the service of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Hmm? Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then they would be. Mm -hmm. Would be? I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just $2 an ounce, I could live forever. Oh, but for you, sir, I'd do a bulk discount rate of $1.95 an ounce. <laughs> as long as you buy 100 ounces or more, that's a lot of immortality. Oh, uh, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. 
Give it up, old man. <laughs> um, listen, Marston, I'm broke. But this stuff is good. It works. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along. Let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain while we go. Okay. <laughs> to Ridgewood Farm! The sick and needy await us! Oh, the life of a wandering saver of souls! About you, Mr. West Dickens. And I about you, John Marston. Hoodwink in the week, gullible out of their hard earned money. Get back on the road! You'll have nothing left by the time we get to Ridgewood. My dear boy, it is you who is gullible, if I may be so bold, for heeding such ill informed scuttle. You're as full of wind as a horse with a cog. I have been blessed with the gift of language, and for that I will not apologize. But the West Dickens elixirs speak for themselves. My thousands of happy customers attest to that. If my tonic is such a sham, how do you explain the fine battle in which you find me? Last time you saw me, I was knocking at death door. You should thank the doctor for that. I reckon you were acting it up worse than it was. Act I can, John. A more convincing old fellow there has never been. And so shall you, a fair Iago or Cassio me. I don't like the sound of this. Showmanship, John. The flourish. The bow. We are operating in a competitive marketplace. Our product must stand out. And how does this involve me? We're going to use your God-given talents to our advantage. I'm really starting to regret this. Stay on the road! We're going to destroy the merchandise! I'll drop you off at the outskirts of Bridgewood. That way, it won't look like we came together. Once I'm set up, saunter nonchalantly into the cloud that is sure to be formed. Eventually, I will call you up to try my tonic. After extolling the virtues, I will have you perform a few feats of wonder to amaze and impress the paying public. Best you alight here, dear boy, so no one sees us arriving together. I'll see you there. Be ready to enchant the crowd. souls of uh, Chola Springs, uh, gather round, gather round. Uh, do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, uh, neurologic or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that cures headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothaches, backache, swelling, sprains, sore chests, swelling of the throats, contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and ravaged nerves, stiff joints, wrenches, dislocations, cuts and bruises, and it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. <laughs> but can you prove it, old man? Oh, I'm sure there's some customer here who could prove the qualities of its by... Take a drink right now. You, sir, come up here. Step right up. That's the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, pay close attention. This poor, wretched volunteer, entirely unknown to me, will demonstrate the effects of Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic.
Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you say. Well, doubt no longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today, science will be vindicated. Your eyesight is greatly improved, is that not so, friend? If you say so. That's right, it is. You heard him. What a good sport you are, sir. Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. Go ahead, friend. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the miraculous eyesight you now possess.